you know that really tall building in Dubai? I don't know what it's called, but that really, really tall one. This is this is that of scrap mechanic. We're you can't even see the ground anymore, guys. This is this is ridiculous. Look at this. There's no ground. There's no. You ever you ever wanted to build a building out of elevators that goes up to the skybox? Because that's basically what we're doing right now. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic with the second build from the streams this weekend. I figured I would, you know, get back into some of my stream builds. There's a few older streams too that I am uh, I'm going to deal with, but of course, this is the massive 20 story elevator. Now, I've done a lot of work to it since the stream, a lot of work. So the first thing we'll notice is obviously the nice slick paint job all the way up. We've also got, uh, you know, some, some more features now in the elevator. So I did listen to your guys' comments. Uh, you guys said a lot of things in the stream, and I really appreciate that. And you gave me a lot of good suggestions. So uh, one of the suggestions was elevator music. Uh, I thought that was a great idea. Had elevator music, and then you guys said, you know, make it so the elevator music only comes on when the elevator's moving, which is also a great idea. One of the suggestions as well was, as soon as you press another button, the sliding door should close, and uh, you should go up. The elevator shouldn't move with the sliding door wide open so i've implemented both of those things as well as a little bit of a um an indicator here to let you know when you got into your floor where's my elevator is it coming there it is all right perfect so the elevator's here so you can see there we've i've rearranged the buttons uh there's still 20 buttons and the floors still go left to right so one two three four five six seven eight alternating up that's how it is in the elevator of my apartment building so i figured i would follow that convention and uh, we do have indicator lights now. So that was one of the suggestions as well, was to make sure that you could tell what floor you're on without having to look. And so I figured we'd have these indicator lights. So this indicates we're on the, the first floor here. And, uh, you know, pretty straightforward. The elevator's quiet. So let's just, uh, let's just head up to the 20th floor there. You can see there the door closes as soon as the elevator starts moving. Now, obviously, the piston takes a bit of time to close. Um, but I didn't put a timer beforehand. So it just, it kind of just closes right at that time. And you can see there we're climbing up the floors pretty quick. Some weird elevator music. Shuts off when we reach our floor, and then we've got that indicator, and now we're on the 20th floor. So, I did add a little bit of logic to do all that. Um, I did remove the extra 20th piston that I had screwed up, which was good. And you can see there we've actually got two radios just to make the signal that much louder. We've got the buzzer indicator here. And then, of course, the floor selection and uh, some extra logic here to determine when to turn on the radio. So it's really quite simple. It basically says, as long as the floor you've selected is not equal to the floor you're currently on, it means you must be moving, so you have to turn on the radio. The rest of the logic, I mean, really, there's this set of memory bits here, which indicates which button you've pressed to select which floor. This set of timers here is just a, a sort of reset. So when you hit one button, it resets all the buttons and then it sets that button that you've hit. And then of course, we've got the other section over here, which determines which floor you're on. And then this set of gates in the middle checks if the floor you're on is smaller or bigger than the current floor and uh, that you've selected. And if so, it has to adjust stuff. So it works single floor at a time. It's, it's the same elevator I did before for the hover office building, except that was only nine stories and lagged like crazy. This is actually lag free. It's, it's amazing. It's a 20 story elevator with 19 pistons in it and a whole, uh, a whole heap of logic. But it's, it's completely lag-free. It's it's really quite amazing. And I hope it's lag-free for everybody who used it on their computer. But we're just going to go down. What floor is that? That's like the 10th? Like yeah, it's the 10th floor. So I encourage you guys to download this. I am going to put it up on the workshop. Uh, I don't really plan on building a building around it. You guys should uh, definitely download it and put a building around it. And, uh, you know, then if you do re-upload it to the workshop, just make sure you give me credit for making the elevator portion of it. But uh, I honestly, you know, stuff gets stolen all the time. There's nothing I can really, really do about it. I think it's a pretty cool build. It's definitely a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, just riding this elevator. And I mean, there's not really much else to it. It's very fluid. I think it's the closest I've come in Scrap Mechanic to making a realistic elevator. And uh, I actually did increase the depth of the floor. So you can see here the floor, if we delete it, is actually two blocks thick. And the reason why is with a too thick floor, you don't have that kind of stopping point in between floors. So when the when the pistons were, were moving, um, there was a little bit of a gap where you'd see it slows down slightly between floors. And that's pretty much been eliminated. A lot of tall buildings, you know, they don't use one elevator. Oh, why am I taking the stairs? What am I doing? But they don't use one elevator necessarily. Um, 
they use multiple elevators, but instead of having them, you know, go all the way from the bottom straight to the top, they go from the bottom to like a sky lobby, and then they have another elevator that goes up. So we're going to go up there. This, this elevator here, it's welded to the ground, which I, of course, encourage you to do. But we're going to go up to the top there, and we're going to actually weld another elevator up to this elevator. And I think, like, maybe another one on top of that. We'll see how many levels we can get before the lag gets bad. I mean, this is 162 FPS right now, so I'm... I'm kind of excited about this, um, but yeah, definitely gonna weld a couple here, and then we can have multiple sky lobbies, and just maybe we can build an elevator to the skybox. I don't, I don't know if we can do that. Let's let's try and see if we can get an elevator to the skybox. Thank you. All right, so let's uh, let's build a little section here, so we can weld this other one. So we'll just weld them. Uh, you know, let's just you know, let's just do this. Okay, so we'll just weld it corner into that little nook there. I don't know why I'm building out of glass, but anyways, kind of a building's made out of glass. Alright, so let's go up here and see this, because this is welded to the ground, we can uh, literally spawn an elevator on top of it. And uh, the stairs are on this side, so we gotta get that, this corner here. Okay, so that corner here has to weld to there. Okay, so this is, this is good, so we'll just do this. Of course, scrap mechanic physics, um, really tall objects take forever to fall over, just a thing. Don't know why it is, but, uh, really tall heavy objects, they don't fall over right away. Can we, can we do this? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Still, uh, solid 145 FPS, so lost about, uh, 15 frames on that one. But now we've got this awesome sky lobby area, which is already 20 stories above the ground. Let's just, you know what, let's send you all the way back down in case we fall, then that one will be, be down there. Alright, this is sweet. Look at that view. Alright, let's go up to the 20th floor here. Let's do it. Holy cow, we're, we're getting up there. So we're 40 times 15 above the ground. Whatever, whatever that math is. 40 times 15. So we're, this is like an actual scrap mechanic skyscraper. You could build, I mean, I think if you started adding a ton more blocks around it, it might lag. But I, I don't really know if it would, but uh, you could build some crazy tall stuff. Alright, right, like that. Perfect. Weld, weld, yes! All right, we're down to like 79 FPS, but we've got three elevators now. We're gonna send you back down to your first floor. All right, let's go up again to the 20th floor. We're getting up into the clouds here. This is actually awesome. I've never built a structure that's quite this tall and it would suck to go up this in stairs. All right, let's send you back down again. Come on, yes, weld up, weld up, weld. Weld to FPS. Awesome. All right, let's call this elevator. We're still solid. We're still solid. 80 FPS. So that's not bad. Now we're up to 100 again. You know, this is actually. I think once the elevators are far apart, we might we might actually build an elevator all the way up to the skybox here. Oh my goodness! Look at the height on this thing. The shadow stopped rendering. You can see where the shadow is too far away to render. Enjoying my elevator rides. All right. So this is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's build another one. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, come on, game. Come on, you can do it. You know you want to. I see you. It's lined up correctly. It's just a matter of the game being too stubborn to see that it can do it. Come on. Come on. Click like crazy. Do it. Oh, come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, game. Oh, you know you want to. Do it. Do it. Yes. It's backwards, but I don't care. All right, so this lobby is a little bit of a larger sky lobby. Just got to pay attention, be a little bit careful. Uh, we're still holding at a solid 90 frames for some reason. So each story is, uh, is, yeah, the full height of one piston, so it's 15 blocks between floors. I figured I might as well maximize it and, you know, just give people that much more space if they want to have, you know, a floor for vehicles or something or whatever. You could do that. So we're at the 20th floor already, that was quick. 
All right, one FPS, hold the left click. You can do it, game. Oh, yes! All right, we still have 60 FPS. Uh, I feel like this would kill. You know what, it actually, it's gone right back up to 80 again. This is amazing. All right, uh, we're on the, uh, the sixth floor. Or sixth building. So we're, we're actually, if you were to add up all these floors, we're technically on the 120th floor, which is insane. Okay, so I need that corner there, yeah. Come on, game. I believe in your abilities to weld me. Freeze, and then do it. Yes, all right, so we're still holding. I believe this is the seventh section now. Yeah, we're 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 standing on a building now that is above the clouds. Like you can barely see the terrain down there. If we go up one more level, we're out of terrain. So, you know what? Let's just let's just risk it. Let's just do it. We're just gonna do it, and hopefully not break the logic on this next one. Okay. Okay. Zero FPS for the win. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Is this one going to work? It's moving. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know if I should go with another one. Should I go with... Like, this is eight stacked elevators. This is 160 stories of scrap mechanic. You know that really tall building in Dubai? I don't know what it's called, but that really really tall one? This is this is that of scrap mechanic. We're you can't even see the ground anymore, guys. This is this is ridiculous. Look at this. There's no ground. There's no You ever you ever wanted to build a building out of elevators that goes up to the skybox cuz that's basically what we're doing right now. All right, let's 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 you know, let's do it. Let's just add more. Okay, perfect. Is this one coming down? Let's uh let's bring her down. Oh yeah, she's moving. Don't get stuck. Come on. Alright, so I think this is 9. So this is, um... 180 stories. I mean, maybe we can break 200 stories... With elevators. I... I don't... I don't even know where the ground is anymore. I mean, we kind of... The building's a little bit messed up. It's a pretty awesome building, though. We're just side by side. Okay, so... Okay, there we go. It's a little bit slower now to respond. We're down to 45 FPS. I do not recommend this. If I can get this last one on here, that is 10 elevators stacked to make an elevator to the skybox. Come on! Come on! Scrap mechanic! Scrap mechanic! Scrap mechanic! Scrap mechanic! Scrap mechanic! Scrap mechanic! Come on, Axolot! You can do it! Come on! Piece of crap. Uh, this might this might be the end of it. This this I think this is definitely the last one if we can get it to go. You know you want to. I can see that you want to. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Ten stories. Is this one gonna come down or is it gonna get stuck? It's on its way down. So the default position, I I guess I failed to mention, it does default the elevator to the first floor when you first spawn it. So it instantly activates uh, the signal to to go to the first floor. 10 stacked elevators of 20 stories apiece. The ground is long gone. We don't even, I don't even know where the ground is anymore. It's just, it's, you just see building below you and then more building. But we're going to go all the way to the bottom there. And we're going to, we're going to climb our way back up. I'm curious to see how close we are to the skybox. Oh, you know what? That's like, I think we're like three floors away from the skybox. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it though. Like there's no way. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to do it, aren't we? Okay, now the question is, can we get back to the building? I'm gonna go with probably not, but... Oh, maybe we'll crash land it on the floor here. Hold on. Perfect. Just jam her in there. No, just jam it. Jam it in there. Just get it. Okay, you stuck? This is good. We crash landed. Alright, so we're like, I think... I think we're about three floors away from the top there. So let's just try... Let's try attaching at least one more uh, to make it 11. So let's send this guy back down again. 
All right. Weld. 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 Oh, it's freezing. When it freezes, it's usually a good sign. It means it's doing something. Yes. Okay, perfect. I think that's the 11th. So 220 stories now. Um, yeah, the, the roof on the top one is a little bit lower, which is kind of my bad, actually. I screwed that one up, but that's okay. I mean, I think, I think we're not going to be able to put the last one. I just feel like it's not even going to show up. It's not going to work because it's going to be at the skybox. So... This might be the last one here to make it all the way to the skybox. I'm not entirely positive though. All right, let's, uh, let's, this is not good. This is not a good spot. Might not even let me spawn this anymore. It's, it might just, the game just might be like, are you serious, dude? You know, let's extend this floor out here and let's just try spawning it on like an edge of, an edge of floor piece way out there. That should help eliminate, like, you know, any... Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so we can get it here. Okay, so good. Let's do it. Zero FPS life. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, my God. Floating lift. But seriously, how high up are we? Does this still work? Oh, the elevator still works. So, still getting a solid uh, 15 frames per second. I guess that's what happens when you spawn 12 elevators on top of each other. This is amazing. Yeah, we're up. We're up here. Okay, so let's just send you down. Like, how? We can't be that much higher to the skybox, can we? Do I? I just. I'm gonna just build it with a the thing of barrels and see how high up we actually go. All right, so let's do this. One, two, three. It's a little bit. That's it. We're at the skybox, guys. That's why we couldn't build it on that top floor. This is literally. I can't. I can't place barrels higher than this. That's into the skybox. Are you serious? Oh my god! I actually built an elevator that goes all the way to the skybox. Are you serious? It's 240 stories, 12 individual elevator sections, and we're about to go up every single one of them. All right, here we go. I mean, I will say though, piston elevators are definitely much more fluid than bearing elevators. They move a lot smoother, and uh, of course, the other thing with piston elevators too is they don't lag, obviously, nearly as much. Uh oh. Did we just get stuck? Uh oh. Okay, something happened. Are we? What floor are we on here? Okay, can we go up more, or we or do we break it? Uh oh, I think I think we broke this one. All right, well that's not good. We're gonna have to take the stairs for the rest of this trip. Well, it was working before. I think we've uh, we might have defied the uh, the physics of the game here. Right, so you guys might have noticed a little bit of an abrupt change of scenery. Um, that world is is gone now. That that world, you can see there as we were going up there. We did make it to the skybox. It took 12 elevator sections, 240 stories, and uh, that was quite awesome. But then the world stopped and then crashed, and I can't get back into it. I keep trying, and it keeps just crashing out, giving me a bug splat report. It kind of loads indefinitely. I, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, it's 800-some-odd pistons, 
and uh, you know, just a whole heap of logic was a little bit ridiculous. But make sure you hit those buttons down below, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, make sure you go check this out on the workshop and build your own buildings around it. It would be a lot of a lot of fun to see the different kinds of buildings that people come up with. But uh, overall, I'm I'm still really happy with it. You know, it doesn't seem nearly as exciting being only 20 stories up, but still an awesome building. So make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.